Halverson, and I founded this orchestra a year ago. Uh, Kevin Mallon, conductor. I'm Chris Vadinos, contemporary harpsichordist. You know, I, I've been living in New York for about 10 years, and I kind of felt like something was missing from my musical life here. And I had had some great experiences in Holland, playing in some orchestras that played modern instruments, but with the classical style or Baroque style. And I was doing a lot of that there. And then I met Kevin Mallon. 2003, I started working with him in Toronto, playing in a simple, similar orchestra, the Toronto Chamber Orchestra, where we were also playing in this style. And for some reason, I wasn't playing in anything like that in New York, even though I was playing in so many different groups. And I, one day, I just said, you know, I've got to start an orchestra like this in New York. So it's been you know, amazing. We just started off with a contribution from my parents, $1,500. We rented a hall. We put a, together a concert. The musicians played for free. We had a great time. And here we are a year later, performing, you know, recording our first CD. So it's really been a real trip. <laughs> a great time. kind of interesting for us because we've started a, a classical orchestra trying to play with this sort of transparent and light sound like musicians from the Baroque period. Quite a few of these people actually do play Baroque music and play Baroque instruments and uh, so we want generally to give the sort of lightness of texture that we have with early music in, with, in a more contemporary setting. So actually it's, it fits very well here because Philip Glass has written a a quasi-classical concerto with strings and oboe, two oboes, flute, bassoon, and two horns. And uh, so our approach is quite, works quite well. And uh, one of the things is that if you see the scoring, I mean, you have to figure out how to make things transparent in order for the harpsichord to come through. Otherwise, uh, you just don't hear it. And so having that sort of lightness, a little bit less vibrato, sort of gives that sort of possibility. Also, with all the fast tempos, we can get a sort of lightness, a dump, bum, 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 that comes fairly natural because we've been spending time doing kind of articulation that lightens up very much at the end of bars and classical music. When I say classical music, I mean classical symphonies like Haydn and Boccherini and things we've been doing recently. So I think it works very well. I have played one of the pieces, the Philip Glass Harpsichord Concerto, I played that a few months ago. I did the Californian premiere in San Francisco, and so I was very, very determined to record it, because it's a great piece, and I think more people need to know it. And so obviously the first thing that we had to come up with was uh, a repertoire list, and that's why we ended up with Jean Francais, magnificent harpsichord concerto that is almost completely unknown, um, and we're really going to put it back on the map, because it's a wonderful piece. Um, Philip Glass's harpsichord concerto, uh, and a delightful piece for string orchestra and, and flute, uh, which is John Rutter's Sweet Antique. And harpsichord. And harpsichord, of course. <laughs> It'd be big trouble if there wasn't harpsichord. But it's just, it's like a dream come true. And it's such a pleasure and honor to be working with these two wonderful people, and especially with the West Side Chamber Orchestra. Please write, please write for the harpsichord. The only way we'll keep it alive is by having new commissions and I've, I've had many many written pieces written for me um, some very successful some not so successful um, but what's really interesting is learning what is successful what does work on the harpsichord and what doesn't and I'm always willing and delighted to uh, work with composers because that's the future it's how we have to keep the harpsichord alive and meet every music yeah. we are the West Side Chamber Orchestra and we care if you listen